here's me, Ryan Waring. I was born in May of 1982. I was cute. And then I turned kinda nerdy. I was really shy. I liked music and science. I wouldn't say communication or connecting with people have ever come easily for me. I wasn't much of a goal setter either. I made goals for myself that I knew I could achieve easily, but never really pushed myself. I felt called to help people, and I decided to become a dentist. I attended Loma Linda University, which enabled me to use dentistry to serve others, but it was through the technical aspects of performing dentistry. Prepping a tooth, filing a root canal, taking an impression, I didn't really see the big picture of how the non-technical aspects of serving others tied in, how to talk to patients, present a treatment plan, and how to best communicate with them. I was still really introverted and had a hard time talking to people, but then I met my wife and she rattled me out of my shell a little. With the support of my wife and family, I graduated in 2010. I hadn't really planned ahead or had any big goals for getting a job after dental school. I was overwhelmed by the thought of going straight into private practice. I knew I wanted to start working on paying off my loans, but the only thing that really turned up was a little federally qualified health center in Joplin, Missouri. I worked treating kids, pregnant women, and elderly folks covered by Medicaid. I gained speed and confidence in my skills, but I was still not developing interpersonal experience with my patients that would transfer to private practice later. I was paid a straight salary, not on production. I was seeing between 15 or 20 patients per day. In such a low-income population, emphasis on accepting treatment just wasn't part of our practice, since most patients just couldn't afford ideal treatment. Living in Joplin ended up being quite an adventure. I survived a snake bite wearing sandals, a huge tornado that just barely missed our house and clinic, moving to the country as a city boy, and having a couple kids. There wasn't a lot to do in the middle of Missouri, so I found myself connecting more to the people closest to me. Funny thing, it turned out that I started to connect more and feel more confident in my personal life, fulfilling God's calling in my life when I really settled in to my loving marriage, became a father to two wonderful daughters, and connected with the outdoors and nature. What had initially been a move to the middle of nowhere had changed my personal life, but my dentistry was still not feeling up to the same level of connection. After five years there, we decided it was time for a change of job, wanted to move back to the west to be closer to family. I was burned out on the population and pace of the public health scene and was excited, but still a little apprehensive about jumping into private practice. We packed everything up and set out on a cross-country road trip with two small kids, a tent, and a national park pass, headed for a completely new destination, once again not knowing what to expect. Once in Reno, I started at Sala Family Dentistry, and it was like being immersed in a foreign culture and learning a new language. There seemed to be a process for everything, and I didn't know any of it. So I just had to plug in and try to start figuring it all out. I started learning the basic core concepts of the Scheduling Institute from my mentors, Jason and Todd Sala, at the office, but it wasn't until they sent me to associate boot camp that I really had the opportunity to start seeing the big picture of the changes that applying these principles could make. I learned about protecting my bubble and the two economy system. I adopted the Sala family dentistry ritual to tap into doing my best dentistry every day. I started feeling more purpose and confidence starting out each day. I started increasing my connection with staff by greeting them at the start and finish of every day. In order to connect with my patients better, I started practicing the four minute rule. I was filmed doing exams and really began focusing on my verbiage, cutting out wiggle words like maybe, or little cavity, or I might recommend. I started calling new patients to welcome them and writing them thank you cards. These were just the kind of practical tips I'd never learned in order to make a difference in my communication and my connection with patients. When I first got out of dental school, I had this idea in my mind that selling dentistry was inherently bad, something that put my interests ahead of my patients. But as I saw the way the owner doctors and other associates were treating their patients, I realized that I had the wrong perception. Nobody wins with under-treatment. Nobody wins when a doctor doesn't live up to their title or skirts around bad news in order to protect the patient's feelings. 
But when the patient has a genuine dental need and I bring it to their attention in a decisive way, in an environment that maximizes the probability they will say yes to the treatment they need, that is a win-win situation for me and the patient. And so with my team rallying around me as I started implementing what I was learning, I saw my production take off. I produced more in a month than I ever thought possible. It was more than twice as much as my best month at my previous office. The Sala Family Dentistry team is an amazing and awe-inspiring group of people. Jason and Todd Sala are serious about mentoring me in order to help me be the best clinician and team member that I can be. I feel so blessed to be able to work with them every day. Giving back to the community is part of the culture at Sala Family Dentistry and this has been one of the most rewarding experiences for me. At my previous job, I did feel I was meeting a huge need in the community, but I never had the opportunity to give treatment away for free. Participating in Dentistry from the Heart, Smiles for Freedom, and the Salas Star Pro Bono program has been a fulfillment of my dream to provide service to others. Because in the end, it really is all about what our motto says at Sala Family Dentistry, caring people, caring for people. It's about how you connect with the patient to serve them better how you connect with your teammates to lead them better, how you connect with people so that they're changed because of who you are. I'm now seeing and obtaining the connection and communication with patients and people in my life that I've been missing for so long. I'm realizing the power of not just setting a few goals in life, but the importance of setting 5x goals in every area of my life, setting lofty goals and then setting new ones after they've been achieved. I now find myself thinking, what would it take for me to be a better husband, a better father, a better son, a better Christian, a better clinician, a better member of society? And now I'm feeling confident and empowered that I can ask those difficult questions and not shy away from what the answer would be because it is within my power to set goals and create a new reality in myself. So thank you, Jay Geyer, Dr. Panarello, and the whole Associate Bootcamp team for helping me learn these valuable lessons that are changing not just the way I talk to patients or think about dentistry, but they're changing the rest of my life as well. I feel the momentum going forward, the confidence that I didn't have before, and I feel like a winner as a result of this experience. Thank you for lighting the fire in my belly and pushing me out of my comfort zone to be a better version of myself than I ever thought possible.